Hi, my name is Shelby Hernandez, and this is a quick video all about memberships. In this video, we will learn how to create a new account, how to add a membership to that account, and our daily and guest pass procedure. So let's continue. First things first, you go into our membership office, open up Internet Explorer, and log in to our ActiveNet system using your login for your ActiveNet credentials. You will be taken to our customer screen, and if you this screen does not pop up, you click the Customers tab. This is the starting point in how to create a new account. So each patron is required to have their state ID or license in order to create an account and need to be over the age of 18. So if they meet those two credentials, then you can continue. To continue, you click Add New Customer. You'll be taken to the Add New Customer screen where you will input all the information on the state ID or license. Uh, make sure that the address is correct, uh, filling in the first and last name, the address, street, country, city, state, and zip code, and also the cell phone number. Uh, the patron has the option of signing up for um, text receipts uh, in case we have a closing or there's an issue with the building. If they would like to sign up for to receive text messages about that, then you ask them their uh, service provider. If they have Sprint, Verizon, what have you, click this drop down menu and click the according service provider. Next, you add for their email address, uh, that is their username as well, and they also can sign up for a promotional email. Uh, you click their gender, their date of birth, and uh, you leave customer type as general public. You scroll down to the remainder of the screen further in case of emergency contact. So the best uh, in case of emergency contact would be someone in the area, um, but they also can do their brother, their relative, or even their friend. Um, this is the person that will be notified if there's anything or any issues or any emergency with the patron. So you get their first and last name of the case of emergency contact, the relation, and the cell phone number. Finally, you uh, ask the patron to create a password. Uh, there aren't any credentials, uh, but make sure that the patron does not hit enter because if there's an issue uh, with the create the account that you created, uh, then you, it just saves you some time. So make sure you tell the patron not to hit enter. Uh, you go back, you scroll, make sure all the information is inputted, and then you hit save. Then you go back to customers tab, you type in the first and last name of the patron, and then you click new membership. So this is what the screen will look like. Um, there are different package types that we have. There are different credentials that each patron will fall into. So since there are so many and the patron would like whichever membership that they would like and that they would fall into, then you click search. And it takes you to the entire screen that we have of all the memberships we have to offer. You click the according membership that the patron falls into. So if the patron is a staff member and they want a an annual pass, then they can do a faculty and staff annual pass. But they need to be a faculty and staff member. That the rules apply for each membership as well. Then whichever membership that the patron would like that they fall into, you click it. Then you are taken to the membership information page, which states the effective date and when the expiration date would be. Then you click Submit, which is taken to the membership assignment. So that is where the membership, that is who the membership will be assigned to. You click Submit once again, and this takes you to the membership fee. So this breaks down the fees, and if we need to add any staff notes, any customer notes, Make sure that you click these three check boxes because these are our policies, our membership refund policies, our general membership info, and the membership waiver as well. You click Submit, and you'll be taken to our receipt screen. Um, you click Pay, and then it sh takes you to uh, who will be paying for this membership. Then you click select that button. 
and you will be taken to the pay and finish screen on how on which way the uh, patron will be paying. So if they they can pay by check, cash, or credit card, you click whichever one. If it's cash, you click the dollar sign, uh, the amount owed and the amount paid. If there are any if there is any change, if the patron is paying with credit card, you can physically type in the name on the card, the card number, expiration date, and CVV, CVC code, or you can use the uh, credit card scanner attached to the membership office computer. Or if they're paying by check, you uh, click the dollar sign to uh, ensure that the correct amount is inputted, and then make sure you write the check number. That is very important. Once the transaction has been processed, pay and finish. That way you will be taken to this screen. And in this screen, you can either have the patron print a receipt, but always send an email receipt to the patron so that they have that in their records. When you click send email, this screen will pop up. Confirm the email address so that the patron can have this email receipt. That's how you create a new account and add a membership. Now, let's go on to daily and guest passes. So daily and guest passes, you go through the same process of creating an account, and a daily and guest pass is now technically a new membership. So after creating the account for the new member or looking up the member if they have an already created an account, click new membership. Once you click new membership, you'll be taken to the package search screen again, but instead of clicking search, click the drop down menu for category for first time visit. So that way it'll weed out just the daily and guest passes. So daily passes are $15 for someone who is over the age of 18 just for the day. For guest passes, any member has the ability to sponsor two guests. Fridays after 3 and Saturday and Sunday all day during our semesters. And this way, this is the one-time visit membership. So you will go through the same process of creating this, uh, attaching this membership to this person's account. Um, clicking search, go to the customer search, the membership, membership info, and the membership form page. So you will be taken to the membership form page. If the patron is paying cash, then you click the cash daily pass button. If not, then you unclick it and go through the process of a credit card transaction. Once you are finished with that, um, on the same page uh, for guest pass specifically, not for daily pass, you uh, state who the sponsor is. So who the, the patron who has the membership is sponsoring one of the guests. You type in their name and then you click submit. Go through the same process of everything, pay and finish. You click the send email receipt and make sure that the email is accurate. And that is how you conduct a credit card and cash transaction for daily and guest pass. And how to create a new account and add a membership. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed.